Awesome. So you want this off for a second? Oh, you can have it on. Oh. Awesome. So you have a really cool Hank Aaron story. I know Hank Aaron recently passed, so I think the viewers would really like this. So in uh, 1984, I ran my one and only card show and um, asked Hank Aaron to be a guest to sign, and we charged five dollars an autograph. At that time, on Saturday and Sunday, we only sold 850. But he was nice enough to meet us at Atlanta Fulton County Stadium in the parking lot, and he signed the last 150 items on the trunk of his Mercedes. And I've been wanting Braves season tickets, and I said, uh, Hank, are there any seats available down near the dugout? And he said, yeah, come on in, we'll take a look. This is long before computers. So he rolled this thing out on the table like a blueprint. And they had little boxes designating each seat. And there was an erasure mark right behind the Braves dugout. And I said, write my name right there. And he goes, don't rush things. It's Monday morning at noon time. Go out there through that door, and go down and sit in those seats, and look around, and see how you like it. And I said, that's a nice, I'll be happy to do that, but pencil my name in just in case you get a phone call. So my buddy and I, we went out there and we decided let's get these season tickets. And I kept them for 16 years until I moved away to North Carolina. But um, it's kind of exciting to know that Mr. Aaron sold me my season tickets. And I got to spend some time with him. What a wonderful, wonderful gentleman. He also was great as an individual besides everything he accomplished on the field. I admire the man a lot. I watched his service, both the funeral service and the um, memorial service they had at Truist Park, and to see guys like Chipper Jones and Freddie Freeman choke up when talking about him was moving. So excuse me. Awesome, thank you. You bet. So today I didn't spend too much time at the Tampa card show. I was just on the way back home. I did pick up quite a few cards, as you can see with this pile over here. So I'm going to get through these really fast. Uh, 
So let's get going. So the first one is a 71 Willie McCovey. Thought this looked really sharp. Check the sides and make sure that there is no Sharpie stains. So probably saw my McCovey rookie. And I've sent over a few 61s. So I like picking up his cards really cheap. Really underrated baseball player. Next is a YA Tittle. Really, really sharp. That. Next is a 65 Bob Clemente. I messed up on this one. I didn't see that there was an indentation on it. You can see that down there. But besides that, really, really sharp card. Next is the Walter Payton card. Now, this is his rookie card. It isn't in the best condition. I think it, it'll be a very low grade. Um, but I did not have a Walter Payton, so I was glad to add that with that. Next is a 59 Orlando Cepeda. This is his second year, I believe. Yeah, because his rookie is a 58. So nice and centered, which is hard to find with those 59s. Next, we have a Howie Long. A few of those. So I'll put that over there to the side. Picked up a few Joe Montanas. These are his third year, I believe. Yeah, these are the 83s. Yeah, 83. So third year Montanas. So I picked up quite a few of those. Let's see, like four or five of those that cost. Next, I picked up some second year Lawrence Taylors. So I got two, three of those. Picked up some early on Walter Paytons as well. You can see some more of those. A second year Jerry Rice. Some Bruce Smith rookie cards. Some single Terry's. I think this was his rookie as well. It is. Next, some Warren Moon rookie cards. So two of these. These are really hard to find. In good shape because of the black borders. That super underrated card, by the way, for what he's done with his career. Next, an early OJ. I think this is the 72. It is the 1972 of the juice. Got a Yari Curry. We got a Sundin. These OPG premieres have been getting really hot recently. Uh, one of the better cards of the 90s. I know it's a junk wax era, but they didn't print a ton of these out there. A second year Fuhr. Next, we got the 84 Dickerson. Very hard to find centered. There's a lot of Hall of Famers in this set. Next is we get a Len Dawson. Really sharp. Bubba Smith. Dick Butkus. A 71 Ted Williams, which is his last card or one of his last cards. This was when he was a manager, not a player. Lance Allworth, a Joe Maurer Chrome rookie card along with his Topps base standard one. We got a Brett Hull, and this is 88 or 89, what was it? Yeah, 88 rookie card with that. We got a Glenn Hall, one of the best goalies of all time. Really, really sharp. This was a 69, I think. It is a 69. Next, we have a Sergei Fedorov, another OPG premiere. Got a few sockets. As you can see, now the tops was short printed this year, so the tops is actually more desirable than the OPG. And these are both tops. We got another Iserman rookie. Love picking these up. Eiserman are really underrated for what he's done. A Modano Premier. I think he has the most goals for all of North America, or not North America, but American players. So one of the best of all time. Another Warren Moon. A Barry Bonds rookie. Another Warren Moon. And then a Clemens rookie. Now here's my big pickups for the day. First one is a 1933 Lefty Gomez. 
So you can see this right here. This is a PSA 4 on this one. Really, really sharp card. It is a bit off-centered, as you can tell, but finding these in good shape is key. And you can see these corners are really, really nice on that. Next one is a Chuck Klein, another Hall of Famer. Now, the, I like the 34 Gaudis on this one um, because of the Lou Gehrig says. Now, this one is a Worldwide Gum card. It is not a Gaudi. Difference is Gaudi was produced uh, for America. Worldwide Gum was in Canada. So this is a lot harder to find than the Gaudis themselves. So this is a very low pop card. A Hall of Famer. Lastly, I picked up a Carl Hubble. PSA 5 on this one, or not PSA 5, but a uh, BVG 5 on this one. And this is from the Playball series. Carl Hubble, really famous pitcher from the 30s, uh, known to strike out five of the best players of all time in a row in the All-Star game. Anyways, those are my pickups for today. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and check out the other card show videos.